A Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, in collaboration with public experts, has decried the sharp practice deployed by key players in the food and drinks industry to promote consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages, which could be detrimental to the health of citizens. A Kappa representative at the event believes the federal government can leverage on the high demand for these products to increase their tax and generate revenue for the nation. SSB Industries heavily invests in advertising and marketing to promote their products. Industries should market their products. That is not a problem. However, they have the responsibility of providing comprehensive information especially regarding the health-related effects, the risk associated with their product. But we know that unfortunately what we have is we don't get that. They are almost, their silence is deafening when it comes to the risk that are associated with the use of their product. And that is one of the issues that we intend to highlight today. When the government and other stakeholders are taking steps in the right direction, making policies, that will favor the people, that will improve the health of members of the uh, people in the country, the um, industries use different underhand tactics to modify these policies. The lobby conduct different act uh, activities to shape policies in their favor, resisting and diluting the regulations such as the sugar sweetened beverages tax, or even the labeling requirements that is important for on their products. They are very good at the habit of making you think you are taking this decision yourself, knowing fully well that there have been several advertisements. There's a way they, f when they present uh, this consum consuming this product as being very good, people will likely just go along with it. But we know that the reality is that while personal choices play a role, the industry marketing tactics accessibility and affordability has a lot of influence. We also know that they target children, they target minors, using different colorations just that they pick. Remember, their focus is let them consume more while we make more money. They go to marketplaces, they go to campuses, they engage youth to participate in their cleanups, they do um, awards, they go to the beach side to, to conduct sensitization of how people should take care of their environment. By cleaning the products, they already they produce and they allow people to consume. And um, the last, if you look at the last slide, you see how Guinness are also donating solar powered um, motorized water facilities to some communities in your state. I mean, these are some of the things they use, and when the, when the communities see all these things, they, they promote their brand and say, okay, ah, this is what the industry are doing for us. And they, when they have little knowledge of the impact, the health impact of these drinks that the industry are producing. They are saying, okay, it's freestyle football challenge. So it's another challenge that you win one millionaire. So you have to be buying the drink and from the bottle of the drink, there are, um, there are codes there that you have to share with them. And um, you win prizes with this. So this is, I mean, they are promoting their brand. They get people to buy more at the expense of their health. It is also a time again to reinforce our call on the Nigerian government to increase the taxes on SSB products. And our argument is very simple. Even for all the products that we have in Nigeria, all of them, their prices have multiplied, multiplied tripled within the, next, the past one year. As a result, simple economics, as a result of inflation. Because it's a fixed rate of 10 naira, the value of 10 naira in 2022 is less than 30 kobo today. It's like 30 kobo. So for, even for adjusting to inflation alone, which is logical, you don't even need any more argument on that, that tax, that fixed tax, should move by now to a minimum of 40 naira per liter. We are watching what the industry is doing. Nigerians should not fall into their traps. Our kids should not fall into our traps. They are using even our children to market some of those products. In developed countries now, they are now prohibiting the use of SSB. Parents are not even allowed to put these drinks in their school kids' bags. 
because they realize the problem of consuming these products and what you, the medical doctor was called child obesity and people that develop diabetes in future.